Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, May 1st, goes to a recruitment firm named Sinet. All right. Uh, the Hellman's is heavy on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Too much goddamn mayonnaise. Now, Sinet is receiving backlash over a job listing that they posted on LinkedIn. Now, the job description says Sinet is looking for someone with a good technical background, including knowledge of RPA, eight to ten years of experience, and a relationship individual who can get more opportunities and build the account. Anybody out there listening to me fit that description? Raise your hands, blow your horns, okay? Well, I just want to tell all my Asians, all my coloreds, Latinos, and others to relax if you fit that job description because there's one key criteria in that job description, and I don't think you have it. Let's go to WXIA TV 11 Alive for the report, please. A company faces ridicule on social media after a job post calls for preferably Caucasian applicants. Mm. It's one of the three things you need to know. Senate Systems posted the job opening on multiple platforms describing the ideal candidate as preferably Caucasian with a good technical background. The company tweeted an apology saying the listing does not reflect the company's core values of inclusivity and mm -hmm. equality and that the individuals involved have been fired. Federal law prohibits job discrimination based on anybody's race. I'm going to be honest. I love overt racism. Uh, covert racism is for cowards. Tell me how you really feel at all times. You just save us a whole bunch of time. Okay, but what I don't understand is overt racism from corporations. Look, it's perfectly fine to have a preference. Uh, I prefer to buy black. I prefer to give opportunities to black people. That is my preference, and I don't think anything is wrong with that. But when you are a recruiting firm, you can't show bias. It's just not good business. Okay, we live in an era where companies are trying to fight bias in the workplace and hiring processes. Remember last year when Starbucks closed 8,000 locations to provide 175,000 employees with training on racial bias? I mean, my God, Sinet, who there is asleep at the wheel and talking out loud with their thumbs? Now, we all have unconscious bias, I'm sure, but I never really understood that term because I think we are all conscious of our biases and acting like we aren't is just foolish okay we just can't let our biases get in the way of making a wise decision because your biases can make you miss out on something great all Sinet really wants is the right employee for the job you may prefer a caucasian but what if the most qualified person for the job is a puerto rican i would think you would go with poppy if you know what's good for your business now, most companies nowadays are doing more than just simply educating employees on bias. They are implementing strategic changes to their hiring processes to reduce bias and increase fairness, but not to net. And in a way, you got to respect it because they are keeping it honest. But if the bottom line is doing what's best for your business, being blatantly biased is not the move. Now, of course, Sinet apologized uh, in a tweet. They said Sinet apologizes for the anger and frustration caused by the offensive job post. It does not reflect our core values of in inclusivity. And how do you pronounce that? You? Inclusivity. Yes, inequality. Uh, the individuals <laughs> involved have been terminated. We will take this as a learning experience and will continue to serve our diverse community. Uh, guys. Gals, measure twice to cut once. Do you hear me? Corporations, politicians, everybody, measure twice, cut once. It will never cease to amaze me that in 2019, people can't do the basics. The basics are don't be racist, don't be sexist, don't be homophobic. The sad part is this. I have to correct myself, and I just thought about this as I said it. I said we need to go back to the basics of not being all those things. But the truth is, when companies like Sinet do things like this, they are going back to the basics. All right? Going back to the basics scrimpings your foundation. And the foundation of America has always been racist. All right? America was built on racism. So, yeah, Sinet is going back to the basics by being openly racist. So I don't even have any solutions to this problem because, sadly, in America— that's the way things are. So I guess we should applaud Sinet for huh. being honest about their racial bias. I don't know about that. What the hell, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, gave me two little drips and just splattered on my idea. Jesus Christ, drum! You just fought all over my idea. But uh, yeah, you're right. I agree with you. We're not applauding Sinet. Uh, let Kathy Griffin handle my white work. Please give this giant jar of mayo the biggest hee-haw. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh.